back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Casey and I would love for you to take one quick second and go down below and hit that subscribe button and click the little bell button so you'll never miss when I post a new video. So if you guys saw my previous video then you know that I just recently straightened my hair. I used the new Main Choice Foot Iron and it was amazing. It got my hair straighter than it's ever gotten with just like one to two passes. So definitely check out that video if you have not already and also check out my video on how you can prevent heat damage on natural hair as well. Both videos will give you tips on preventing heat damage but the heat damage video will give you more you know details about how you can prevent it in the future so I usually only wear my hair straight for like a week or a week and a half just because I get tired of it or my hair starts to get oily and dirty fast my hair is pretty fine and it's not dense at all so it does get kind of weighed down quickly and that's just how my hair is like some people with natural hair can wear it straight for like two to three weeks so people can go longer me personally I only like to wear it straight for like a week or so so today I did wash it and I wanted to show you guys my updated routine on how I like to reverse my straight hair back to curly it's different than my usual wash day routine because I want to make sure that my hair is reverting back in the healthiest way possible I do have a video on this already and it's pretty much the same technique and the same products um, just the end is a little bit different I tweaked it uh, just from things that I've learned and to make it a little bit better I also just wanted to address something really quickly I don't typically like to address negative comments and stuff but it's just been getting out of hand lately I've deleted at least 150 negative comments about my hair and saying oh I'm gonna get heat damage and oh I'm coloring and straightening and doing all this in my hair and I never used to do this stuff and I should go back to just having regular black hair and I should grow it out and just all this stuff that's just annoying and trust me it does not offend me in any way because I know myself and I know my hair and you guys know me well enough to know that I'm going to do what I want regardless of the negative comments that I'm getting but I just wanted to say something if you do feel like my hair looks different or you feel like it looked better before or you don't like my cut or you don't like me straightening it or whatever your opinion is that's your opinion and I'm not here to take that away from you but I will say that I'm not a cookie cutter natural that just goes by the rules and does everything by the book like that's just not who I am that's not what I do, I do things that are the best for my hair and what I want to do to my hair. And I've pretty much mastered, you know, the products my hair likes, the products that it doesn't like, the techniques that my hair likes compared to what it doesn't like. And I feel comfortable doing certain things with my hair because I know my hair. That's why I emphasize on my channel the importance of studying your hair, learning your hair, trying different things. So if you are afraid to try different things with your hair, whether it be coloring or straightening or whatever the case may be, that's fine. I'm not here to tell you that you need to do those different things to your hair. It's your hair and you can do what you want with it the same way I'm adamant about it being my hair and I can do what I want with it and if you feel like my content does not benefit you anymore or if you feel like you just don't like seeing my hair on camera anymore whatever the case may be please just stop watching <laughs> I promise I will not be offended I will not be hurt you can hit the unsubscribe button it's totally fine because I'm just here to help people I'm really not here to show off my hair or to act like I have the best hair in the world or anything like that like I'm literally just here to tell you what I know and to help you and if I'm not helping you anymore for whatever reason then you don't have to watch anymore so if you were interested to see how I revert my hair from being straight back to curly with no heat damage and very minimal breakage then just keep watching okay so like I mentioned earlier my hair has been straight for about a week now so it's a little bit oily it's a little bit weighed down so I'm just ready to wash it and get it back to its curly state so the first thing I am going to do is split my hair up I'm just going to separate the shorter parts of my hair from the longer parts of my hair so that way um, it makes it easier on myself and I'm going to take this spray bottle of water you can use any spray bottle obviously of your choice with just water and I'm going to begin spraying it on this small section first so the reason I like to do this is because I find that when I just let my hair sit under the water after it's been straight it begins to shrink up all together really quickly it starts to tangle quickly and my curls just clump up it's all dry and nasty and weird so separating your hair into sections and reverting it this way helps to make sure that your hair does not get tangled and it helps to make sure that you are controlling the rate at which your hair begins to revert so once the hair is wet, not soaking wet, but wet, I'm going to take the Originals Hair Mayonnaise, but you can use any protein conditioner of your choice. And I like to use a protein conditioner first because this helps to make sure that my hair is kind of retaining any strength that it does have left over. Um, you want to 
kind of restore any damage that you may have caused to your hair that you can't necessarily see yet. So think of it almost like a strengthening pre-poo treatment. I typically don't pre-poo my hair when I regularly um, wash it, but I do like to do this this way, like I said, just to help control my hair as it begins to revert back and help to make sure that it's retaining any strength that it has. And I do like to just add more water to continue um, letting the hair revert back. The more water you add, obviously, the more it will begin to revert. So next, I'm just going to take some organic extra virgin coconut oil. Before I hopped in the shower, I did sit it in the microwave just for about 10 seconds so that way it would melt a little bit to make it easier to apply to my hair. And coconut oil actually helps to prevent protein loss in your hair. So obviously when you um, straighten your hair, your hair loses a little bit of its natural protein structure. It's a little bit dried out. So that coconut oil will help to make sure that you're not losing any more protein. It helps to also make that pre poo treatment work a little bit better. Better. and it also just helps to moisturize your hair again because when you straighten your hair you kind of dry your hair out so replenishing that oil right away as your hair is beginning to revert back will definitely help to make your hair revert in a healthier way so now I'm just going to repeat that same thing on the next section of my hair I'm first going to wet my hair with some water to begin saturating it and allowing it to revert back then I'm going to take my originals hair mayonnaise and apply that to that section and of course you want to continuously add more water to help the hair revert back even more. And as you can see, as you begin to add more water, the curls will start to form again and you can easily detangle it and you can make sure that as the curls begin to clump up, they don't tangle. So then I'm going to take the coconut oil right after that and apply it to that section on top. And again, it just helps to prevent protein loss in your hair. It helps to add moisture. It also helps to detangle and it just makes your hair feel better as it begins to revert back. This may seem like a lot to do, but I promise you, you will see a huge difference in the way that your hair bounces back if you use this process rather than just going straight in and washing your hair the way you usually would if your hair was curly because the hair really needs to be taken care of after it's had that heat on it. And I really think that this process makes it a lot easier and makes the hair pop back a lot better. So I'm just going to repeat this until my entire head is covered with the protein treatment and the coconut oil. So once I was done applying the products to my hair, this is what my curls are looking like. They are coming back nice and well as they always do when I use this process. And they will begin to pop a little bit more too once I completely rinse my hair out. So I'm just going to go ahead and rinse this out. Sometimes I will leave it in for 10 to 15 minutes or so, but I didn't find the need to do that today. But you can, like I said, leave it in for a little while if you want to. So next, I am going to still shampoo and condition my hair. I'm going to use the Cream of Nature Coconut Milk Detangling and Conditioning Shampoo. And I did want to point out that this shampoo does contain sulfate. Why am I using a sulfate shampoo, you may be wondering? Well, when you straighten your hair, you use heat protections or blow dry creams or something like that that typically have um, silicones in them because silicones help to protect your hair from the heat. Silicones are not water soluble, so they will not rinse out of your hair with just water or a regular shampoo. They have to be cleansed out with a clarifying shampoo or a shampoo with sulfates in them. I'm also shampooing my hair just because when I did the protein pre-poo treatment, um, I didn't cleanse my scalp, so the shampoo I'm just using also to make sure that my scalp is cleansed. The Cream of Nature Coconut Milk um, Detangling and Conditioning Shampoo is probably my favorite sulfate shampoo because it cleanses very well, but it will not make your hair dry at all. So after making sure that all of the shampoo is rinsed out of my hair, I'm just going to go ahead and grab that Cream of Nature Coconut Milk Conditioner that is in the same collection. And I'm going to apply this to my hair and I'm going to use it 
to condition my hair and also to detangle it. I may have a few tangles left over because um, after you shampoo, sometimes the hair does clump together. So I just like to follow up with this conditioner because it gives my hair a lot of slip and it helps to make sure that my hair is really fully detangled once I'm done the entire process. And after you condition with this, if you choose to use this, you can follow up with another deep conditioner if you feel like your hair is still dry. But typically this conditioner is enough for me to just condition by itself and my hair is good. And here I'm just using my tangle teaser to detangle my hair even further. So then once I'm done detangling my hair all the way through, I'm just of course going to rinse out that conditioner. And like I mentioned earlier, you can follow up with a moisturizing deep conditioner of your choice just to add some moisture into your hair. But typically this conditioner works fine by itself for me. And then once the conditioner is fully rinsed out, these are what my curls are looking like. They have popped back 100% the way they were before. So hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Those really helped me out. I'm just going to hop out the shower and style my hair outside of the shower. All of the products that I used will be linked down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.